to the ring, the women's tag team champions, Jordan Grace and Piper, the Mega Powers. Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. Here we go, guys. Tag team action is underway. Well, you can't ask for much more than this, especially given how talented oh, these women are. A lot of times you see champs dial it back a bit when the title's not on the line, but I don't expect to see that from her here. Oh, what incredible power! Wow, what a vertical suplex! She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me! in a level of going for the cover. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. She's still in this one. And she goes for the knee. Artistry by her on that Hurricane Rana. long-term injuries for sure. Well, she wants this win bad. It's got to be over now. Ooh, vicious double axe handle. She's taking on some heat. Her and her partner make it a great tag team. We'll see what they're made of here. Well, she certainly seems to favor being outside the ring. Though for the Ouch. life of me, I cannot figure out why. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Heart Foundation. The rocker dropper from the Rockers. Or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2007. She might have it. One move after the other. It's devastating. Wow, the crowd's on the edge of their seats. Did you hear that thud? God.
The human body can only absorb so much of that. Not looking good for her right now. You can see her partner wants to get tagged in here. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Digging deep for a kick out. She's still in this one. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. Oh, no. She's in a bad way now. her face down. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Oh man, she is rolling now. Back between the ropes. The end may be near, folks. Her tag team partner has to be concerned at this point. Oh. She's got nothing left, guys. If she doesn't make a tag soon, this match is over. Well, she wants this win bad. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. That might just be enough to put this match on ice. She's able to get out of the way there. Her back is in some real pain now. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Incredible. Oh, this is not going to end well. Look at the heart. And just a sickening thud upon impact. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody. She's looking at it. She's starting to feel it. Getting it done. I think she's trying to prove clearly on a mission here. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they developed into a top tag team. thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really un... She goes for the cover. How did she kick out? How? How? And setting them up. It's just a matter of time now. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Look at her go. Nope, reverses it. She got her with a reversal. She might have it. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is, well, if that's any indication, she's not taking any prisoners in this one. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. She goes for the cover. 
She might just be running on instinct at this point. Can you believe this? You gotta think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's she goes for the cover. Where is she finding the strength to continue? Wow, I thought this was over. We're looking at complete domination here. She's starting to sweat a bit. But you can bet she has plenty of fight in her. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you, bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from... She's looking at it. The parallel snapmare. What a comeback. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. The resolve this woman is showing right now is absolutely unreal. I can't believe she kicked out there. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. Big move coming. Wait for it. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. That's it. That's what she needed. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. And given how impactful that move has been as of late, I'd say there's almost no coming back from it. You're right, Michael. It's and now, one more time. Wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. Just barely, but it counts. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. Powerbomb! Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. She is on fire. The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying. But it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done. And even then, it's not a sure bet. I'll uh, win. Oh, what disrespect. This one's over by way of disqualification. We're looking at complete domination here. 